Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. That makes it second and 10. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Black five, black five, orange three, orange up the middle. Tackle at the 28. The back gets three on the carry. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it 37. Double tight, double tight. Double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 46. Go four. Go. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Not every offense uses their tight ends very effectively, but when they do, it can be a nightmare for a defense. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. That makes it second and ten. to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 43-yard line, first down. And they get the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are gonna feel it the next day. shot at picking it off. It's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. The Volunteers in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting. Their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they would slow him down. Out of bounds at the 17. Just throws this one away. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Excellent punt. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Up 
the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. That'll bring up 32. Red 2, green 15. Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard on the line. This is one yard on the play. That brings up fourth and three. Trying to change the field position with this kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He's on the run, and he's going to come up with a sack. Gets rid of this one. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Throws on the run and it's intercepted. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Receivers split out. The quarterback in the go. Touchdown, Arkansas. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming out, but they just couldn't stop it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 29-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 7-0. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-0, Arkansas. Arkansas ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brett, everywhere we go when we travel over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol, and hurry-up tempo offense, and points. 
It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And they got him for a loss. The halfback took the pitch but couldn't find any running lane. And there were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. He would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. It's second and 15. Ball on their own 20. Scrambling around. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Arkansas up seven points. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. That makes it second and two. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Black five, black five. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. Second and ten. Ball on the 47. He's going to try and scramble. He might have a chance. He's taken off. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackle after decent pickup. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. Second and 14. Ball on the 27. Arkansas is up by a touchdown. Black five, black five. Orange. Run, 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 run. Makes it to the 11. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Green nine, green nine. Easy, easy. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Touchdown, Razorbacks. What made this so impressive was first, his ability to see where the space was to run, and then the athletic ability to get it into the end zone.
and he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The volunteers know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. He throws. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. From their own 44-yard line, first down. My five, my five. Gets it out. He's met immediately. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. Number 26 makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. Third down. <laughs> They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Razorbacks are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back, and they make the stop at the 20-yard line. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Dog four. Ooh, 20. Played a half. The Razorbacks lead 14 0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I That totally, was an easy answer, look, yes. I, I totally <laughs> get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, 
now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man to man and giving up big plays. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you are doing. Don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what what you've implemented has worked. Continue to do it. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Arkansas is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence. And it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He's out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. That's a That'll make it 77. Makes a grab and steps out right away. First down. He steps out right around the 48 yard line. That's a team of two. That'll make it second and seven. Watch 14. Watch 14. I'm coming. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 36. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws it in a hurry. Touchdown, Tennessee! This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? And he adds the extra point. Seven play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. So our score, 14 7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Arkansas is up a score. Tries to get around the corner. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Second and two. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Dog four. Hit as he threw, and he completes it.
First and ten. Ball on the 38. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. down and they need to get it to the 28. Arkansas is up seven. Red two, green nine. Screen pass. He's got his half back and he is drilled at the 29 yard line. A seven yard pickup on the screen play. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. At the 27 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Got hit and still completed it. He's tackled at the 18. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. Brought down around the eight-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. made at the six. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. Green nine, green And they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes Here's the 12th play of the drive. Arkansas up seven points. Black five, black five. Black five. Had his hands on it and dropped it. This isn't much more than an extra point. Arkansas can make this a two possession game with this field goal. The kick is up and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's taken down at the 31. Number 24 makes the set call at the 31 yard line. First down. Watch 14, watch 14. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delay of game, offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Orange 
throws complete, and he stopped immediately. A pickup of four on the play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Got it, but knocked out of bounds for a short loss. Third and 14. Ball on the 27 yard line. With a quick throw. Caught! And they push him out around the 39 yard line. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 17-7, Arkansas. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 17. Number five with the tackle at the 17 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Kill, kill, kill! Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. They fall on it. That time, the option play is the cause of the fumble. The offense put the ball on the ground, but give the defense credit for jumping all over. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Play action. And he's immediately tackled. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. First down. He makes it out to midfield. That's good for a three yards. That makes it second and From the 50. Second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. Caught out in the open. That's a great tackle at the 26. First down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 26. Less than three minutes in the game. After a decent pickup. And this play is number eight on the drive. him on that throw. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. And he splits the uprights. Arkansas gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Razorbacks have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Fires quickly, and he's got his man from their own 27-yard line. It's second down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Looks to the back and can't connect. Zips it to the back, and they make the stop around the 28-yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They'll spread the field with five wide. A little toss across the middle. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. They picked up three points on their last possession, and they've got great field position to work from here. Bring him down at the 31-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. On the ground, up the middle. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. He's under pressure. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. Loss of six on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. This will be a touchback. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. The last time, they were unable to move the ball down the field. In fact, picked off, and that'll seal it up. 
He's taken down right around the eight yard line. Big time interception and this game's over. see the quarterback take a knee right here winding down the rest of this clock if you're an offensive coordinator you love this play his quarterback will take a knee and so that's going to do it our final score in this one 20 to 7 arkansas That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.